Hey guys, Dr. Shelley here. There is a lot of confusion about vitamin D and I wanted to clarify a few things for you in this video, including what dose to take and how long you should be taking vitamin D for. Most people who are supplementing with vitamin D3 usually are taking supplements that are 600 to about 1500 IUs per day. And they think that that's enough. The problem is that about 75% of the entire population is actually deficient in vitamin D. And again, people are taking about 600 to 1500 IUs of vitamin D per day, but we're still deficient. So what's the problem? The first issue is that the supplement that you're taking may not actually be absorbed properly in your body. Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin and it needs to be taken with a fatty food in order to be absorbed properly. But if you have gut issues or if you're older, unfortunately your vitamin D absorption is not going to be as good as somebody who doesn't have gut issues or somebody who's younger. The other issue is that when you start taking a vitamin D supplement, most people don't take it for long enough. They take, you know, they go through one bottle and they think that's going to help their, their vitamin D deficiency, but that's not actually true. Many studies have actually shown that you need to supplement with vitamin D for a minimum of three to four months. I recommend people take a vitamin D supplement a few times a week for ever actually and even if you're somebody who lays out in the sun and you're like i get enough vitamin d because you know i'm tan that's also not necessarily true the color of your skin how much melanin you have can affect your vitamin d absorption from the sun also if you're using sunscreen that that can decrease the ability of your body to create vitamin D. In order to get enough vitamin D from sun exposure, you need to have most of your body exposed for not just five minutes of gardening or not just because your arm was out the window while you were driving. There are a few other reasons why somebody's absorption may not be optimal, but those are the main reasons. I recommend that people supplement with vitamin D at a much higher dose. 600 to 1500 IUs of vitamin D is what most people will supplement with because that's the dose of most supplements. So when you go to the store and buy a bottle of vitamin D3 and all of them say 600 IUs, you tend to think, oh, that's the, that's the dose that you need. I personally supplement with 10,000 IUs of vitamin D per day and I live in Florida where there's plenty of sunshine. There are people who supplement with vitamin D at doses as high as 200,000 IUs per day for years. The only potential problem with supplementing with vitamin D at that amount for a long time is hypercalcemia. But then all you need to do is drink a lot of water and chances are that's not going to be an issue. So you shouldn't have any fear about overdosing on vitamin D. In fact, there is more fear in not getting enough vitamin D. Vitamin D is the most important fat soluble vitamin there is, not only for your immune system, but for your hormones, your digestion, just everything. So if you look at the bottle of vitamin D that you currently have, and it says 600 IUs, what I recommend, is go find a bottle that has about 10,000 IUs and start supplementing with that amount. If you are somebody who has an autoimmune issue or you already know that you are deficient in vitamin D, maybe you had your blood work done and you were told that you're deficient in vitamin D, it is not a problem to take more than what is normally recommended. In fact, I highly recommend that's what you do. I hope this information was helpful for you guys, and I hope that you start supplementing with the right dose of vitamin D for the right amount of time, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and if you got value out of this, please consider subscribing to this channel.